Okay guys, um, I have an idea of what I want to do in my head and I'm going to see if that will come out. <laughs> the first color I'm going to go in with is Max uh, Soft Brown. Lord help me. It's a little early and I'm using an Inkblot 6SS to sweep that in my crease. I'm working on looking in the camera and not in the viewfinder but it's difficult. Um, when I'm actually applying, I'm gonna have to look over in the viewfinder because my mirror setup, y'all know, is to my right. Okay, the next color I'm gonna go in with, I'm trying to find my lightest purple color, and I think it's um, purple haze. I think it's purple haze. Um, and it's more of a, a bright purple, so I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm going to take this and I'm going to sweep this into my crease with the same Inklot 6SS brush. And I'm going to start the majority of the color on the outside, but I'm going to sweep this over all the way over to the other side of the crease. And I'm going to do about two applications of this color, even though I'm only going to show you one on camera. What I'm going to go in with is Navel, and this is a um, pro color, but you can get it offline if you want and it's a matte blue, like a matte blue color. I'm going to be using, a, I thought I want to say this is a crown pointed crease brush, C412 I think, and I'm just gonna go in with that, and I'm gonna concentrate the majority of this color right in the crease. And then once I kind of blend it here, notice I'm just using the little swirl motions, I'm gonna then sweep it over. I'm going to use the purple haze to do more blending and I'm going to use the navel to set down and kind of create the base for all of the darkness that's going to go there, all of the depth that's going to go in the eye. Okay, so the next series of colors, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever um, Artist Shadows, I think, right? Okay, so I'm going to be using M928, which is a nice deep violet purple, and then I'm going to be using, oh lord, can I see this? I think it's an S924, I think. Uh, that four is right, that number is right, I'm like a little divot. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the brighter color first, I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to be using a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow brush and this is where we're going to start to build up this outer layer and I'm going to pack this color here okay and I'm going to probably have to do a lot of this um, packing and blending packing blending packing blending off camera but I want to just give you an idea um, of what I'm going to be doing so the first one I'm going in it was that brighter one and I'm, let me see, I think it's an S924. I think it's S924. So you're just going to keep packing that on. And then we're going to go in with the M928. And I'm going to pack this on as well. And we're going to bump it up. If you use tape, I think this is easier, or you can clean it up afterwards. But we're going to bump it right up against this line. I'm not going to go above the navel that we put down or the purple haze. I'm going to try to keep the majority of this, this um, deepness right in here, right up to the edge of that navel. And then, to deepen it even further, I'm going to go in with a sketch, Max Sketch. And I'm going to do one more color because I want this like deep, 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 deep. And I'm going to use these colors to kind of blend and play into this mixture. So I'm kind of laying down and moving, right? Laying down and moving. But at the very edge, I want it super, super dark. 
So I'm going to go in with a combination of carbon, and I'm going to keep carbon right on the edge. I don't want carbon to kind of go any further. This will help if you don't want to do a wing liner. And I'm just patting carbon right here on the edge. And I'm just gonna blend it out just a teeny bit with that sketch. When I say blend, I just mean just going a little bit beyond the carbon. Still, not try try not to go too far up, okay? Try not to go too far up. But I'm gonna have to blend this line out at the top, okay? So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to play with that and then I'll come back. Okay, now on the lid, I'm going to go in with stars and rockets. And we're going to do something a little bit different with this. You'll see. Okay, so I'm going to pack down stars and rockets. Then I'm going to go in with the Artist Couture Mermaid Fantasy. Okay, these are um, used or supposed to be used for highlighting powders on your um, cheeks. I would never use Mermaid Fantasy there, but I find it to be a nice... Um, tear duct highlight so I'm going to play with it a little bit on a the number for this brush is what is um, wiped off uh, I'm gonna play with it a little bit and I'm gonna go in with that mermaid fantasy and I'm gonna put that on my lid right over the stars and rockets just to see what that's going to do to the look. I like it. Okay, so here's where the blending part kind of starts. Okay, so we got the colors laid down. I know that my lid is pretty much set. So now I'm going to go in with that um, Makeup Forever uh, SN-24 and I'm going to begin to blend just in this area where the Lumi and Stars and Rocket meets that really, really defined area that I laid down. And I'm going to try to stay right in this area because I really kind of want this color. But you may have, I'm going to probably have to go back in with the um, Stars and Rockets and maybe a little bit of the um, Mermaid Fantasy. So just keep that in mind though. But this, I'm going to start blending with this color. And I'm going to go work backwards. So I'm going to do this color. Then I'm going to go with the navy. Dropped it. I'm going to go with the navy. And I'm using that little crown brush. And then I'm going to go in with the um, purple haze. purple haze, I'm going to slip over to the um, Inklot 6SS and start working that, blending that out at the top. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's pretty much what it looks like. You have a nice purple deep uh, set it eye and then the um, artist shadow Mermaid Fantasy over the per over the stars and rockets. I think it just gives a nice little pop of the um, eye. I'm gonna blend probably out a little bit better there, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what to do what the whole face looks like with everything. Okay, Eyebrows. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Mermaid Fantasy, and I'm going to just place it right in the tear duct and bring it on around. I'm gonna take a little bit of. <laughs> Smolder, I know this is horrible, but <laughs> and put it in my waterline. Underneath, I'm gonna just place a teeny bit of sketch. Just a little. I'm not even going to bring it all the way around. Spray with some e.l.f. setting spray. So that's it. 
that's it for the looks. The look. That's it for the look. So I have a little bit of Viva Glam Gaga 2 lip gloss on my lips. I think that was the best Viva Glam ever. And I only got one, so yeah kind of bummed but anyway this is a look you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it um, please check out um, his name is oh gosh I know him as Mac Daddy that's his name that comes to mind but that's his username on IG but please check out his artist couture shadow no artist couture um, highlighting powders I don't really use them as a highlight I use the mermaid fantasy either as an enhancement to an eyeshadow or a tear duct highlight but you can use them whichever way you want um he had a sale during uh the christmas holidays don't know what they're going for now but check them out everything will be in the information bar anything i didn't that i use that i didn't say will be in the information bar and yeah i hope you guys are having a great new year and hopefully i will see you in the next video please remember to share that's the only way we're going to get out there y'all if y'all share um positive rating thumbs up and please subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye